Okay guys, here's a little update on this thing. And I have got leaves. We've got, these are all new leaves, which is awesome. Like all over, which I was a little worried because it took a little while. But now it's it started. So this is the this is the update. It is my my goal eventually is to turn this into another main branch, bend this one out, turn that into another main branch. We've got this one here that's coming out from up there. We'll make that into a branch. We've got we've got enough. I mean, look, yeah, new growth. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I mean, all these all these. There's not a branch on here that doesn't have new growth coming out of it. So I will just treat this whole thing like the trunk and then, yeah, see, look at that. They're coming back in. I'm pretty stoked. That's all new growth. I thought I might've killed it, but even the stuff that looked kind of dead, we've got new growth coming out of there now, which I'm very excited about. Some of the top ones are still not doing great, but I actually did see a bud coming out of those. And then of course, all that stuff that already has leaves, there's a bunch of new stuff coming out of that too. And I plan on getting, I've got one grow light plus these skylights, but I plan on getting another grow light up there. But yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know what the roots are gonna look like. I've tried digging down in here. I don't wanna do it too much because I don't wanna mess with the roots until the rest of the tree comes back really good. But I mean, this is only, that's about a foot and a half off the ground. That's about two feet off, off the, the top of the pot. You just got enough. That's about above my head now in the pots. That's probably three and a half feet above the, the ground. So I should, and then, then like that's about, again, about four feet. This one right here, it's about four feet off. So I should be able to get about six feet of these trunks. So it'll be six foot tree, With enough growth that once I once I make sure the tree is healthy, then I'm gonna I'm gonna start cutting off more on the top, and so the tree focuses its growth on some of these smaller branches down here. But I'm not even close to that. I won't. I wouldn't do that till spring, when I can get it out in the spot where it's getting better better light and all that. So anyway, that's the update. It's gonna live. That's huge. And then once once this thing is bushy and full of life, then I'll I'll see what's down here under the soil because. I mean, this is, there are so many roots. And I just don't want to get, I don't want to get too excited and mess things up. So anyway, that is this guy. And I haven't shown this, but this is my office. My wife makes me keep all the ugly stuff down here. So got some does, I've got all sorts of stuff. This is, I got this from a house. I have a real estate team and this is, uh, uh, this was from someone's house. They were throwing it away. They're just out there dying. These are, this is a ficus microcarpa that is actually like it's six, seven, six or seven smaller ones as you can see down there, but I'm growing this as a cutting and it's doing really good. It's starting to shoot out roots, but it's got, uh, you can't really see it. It's got really good shape to it, like a lot of curve. And then that'll hopefully, as those sticking out, be a wide trunk. Got, got so much stuff here. This is another microcarpa that I'm growing those trunks together. This is where I get a lot of my cuttings from this guy. This I'm training, this is, I, this I butchered it and it's coming on purpose, not on accident because I've been getting a bunch of new growth to come out of it. So it's ugly right now. And then I'm training all these roots down from the top. It's, it's so dry here in Colorado. You can't get, you can't get roots to grow unless you do something like this or you're in a greenhouse. These were some ficus I tried to save. This is from that same client where I got the jade trees. They were dead and had just a couple leaves left on them and I tried to save them and unsuccessfully, I don't think they're gonna, not gonna make it. And that's actually the micro, the ficus microcarpa that I, that I got everything else from. So I trunk chopped that thing and now it's grown these out and I've, the leaves just suddenly died on that. But that's eventually gonna be a bonsai tree. This here, this is another one that I, um, that I trained. I've had this for 17 years. If I would have known anything about bonsai before I 
uh, when I got this, I would have done things differently. But all these roots, I've trained all these down. It's just too, too clustered in there for, I mean, it's neat. My kids want it. We're going to put like action figures in there, but like that's a massive root that comes down from the top of that tree. It just, it's kind of cool, but I would have just, I would have done it differently if I uh, had done it all over again. Although from that angle, that's pretty neat. We thought we'd put like kids playing in the vines and stuff like that. Like my kids got excited about that. This is uh, actually the top of that, that Benjamin over there that I just showed you with all the roots. That's actually the top of it that I chopped off a few years back. I guess this is more of a, will be more of a broom style bonsai, but we've kind of trained the roots down. I haven't been, that's only been about a year and a half. So it's pretty cool. That'll be neat once those roots get a lot thicker. This is also from that same uh, Benjamina. That, this one's pretty neat. That's over a piece of petrified wood. This one is also from that same microcarpa that I, it's all from that one that I trunk chopped that thing. Those are all cuttings from that one. And this is the top of that microcarpa that I trunk chopped. And I'm trying something weird with this thing. We'll see. <laughs> My wife hates it right now, but I think it'll be super cool because if there's actually one solid trunk down below that I took as a cutting, it's about inch thick below the soil. So that is one trunk that branched into four branches. But then I connected, I wove those together. So it's, it looks ridiculous right now, but I actually think it'll be pretty cool. And then I'll, then I'll lift that out of the dirt once that's ready. And uh, then you'll have a one solid trunk that branches into four and comes back, comes back to one. So I don't know. We'll see what that looks like a few years down the road. But anyway, that's kind of the plants I've gotten and I'm, I'll update as I go. Mainly I'm updating on that giant ficus in my garage. Uh, maybe I'll do a monthly update.